This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, okay, so Adidas and Kanye West don't get along, okay? Uh, they kind of violated his contract, and he was upset with this for a while and pushed the envelope to a point where they just had to end the contract. He kept doing different things, putting videos out of them, uh, calling them names to their faces, and then, you know, he said what he said about Jewish people and they that was it for him you know because there was a morality clause or something now he was mad because they were taking his designs and remaking them at Adidas it was pretty obvious they were doing this too making different colors and stuff and he felt violated from his designs right so the other you know what was it two months ago we saw this picture of Kanye and the CEO of Adidas in the airport okay now, people were like, oh, okay, they might be, uh, you know, making that deal happen again. And I was thinking the same thing because I was like, you know, Adidas lost so much money losing Kanye that, like, yeah, they might need that old thing back to keep things going. Well, the CEO recently spoke, sorry, the CEO recently spoke out and he was like, hey, what am I supposed to do? Run? I wanted to run and hide from Kanye, but we happened to be in the airport at the same time. Obviously, a private airport, right? And, uh, you know, he, he pressed them, and they took a picture together. He said, but there is no chance of them working together again, he says. Interesting. Hmm. I, think, uh, I think that they should still work together, but they should keep Kanye away from, you know, like, just, just distribute it, but don't make it part of the company. Because you... You can't align with Kanye. You don't know what he's going to feel each day, you know? Jonathan Majors and uh, Megan Good, they're spotted out and they have this awkward kiss and everyone's thinking, oh, they're breaking up, you know? Who cares, you know? It's like it's, it's a red carpet thing, you know? But this will fuel probably their breakup because she'll be looking at it like, why did he kiss me like that? Like it's a movie and he's looking away. That's an emotion you would see in a movie where the person, the guy's over the woman, you know, <laughs> looking away. Um, Diddy will never hear the end of 50 Cent's wrath. Okay, 50 Cent keeps that pressure on Diddy. Uh, he saw this Sugar Ray Leonard uh, talking about he was abused. Abused by a man, and it was his trainer. Media takeout. I don't even know if this is true because media takeout be going overboard sometimes. But they, 50 Cent said, I don't know why, but I thought Puffy did it. But the first thing I thought of was Puffy did it. What's going on, man? <laughs> he should worry more about BMF because I hope it doesn't fall off. Um, then we got... You know, this is such a weird situation. Like, Finesse two times has this, like, 11-year-old kid with him that's not his. It's this other woman's kid. And he keeps the kid with him. And the woman calls him out from time to time, like, you know, uh, called CPS, talking about she doesn't know where he is since she got out of jail. She doesn't seem like a great mom, right? All because King won't give her money to support her habits. This young man lives in a million dollar home with his everything. Don't have to worry about dodging bullets or being hungry, running around Memphis with grown men shooting dice that'll actually hurt him for a few dollars. Why would you even risk that for your kid? I bring him to see grandma every time I'm in Memphis. I give her a thousand dollars. I give her a thousand dollars. King gives her a thousand dollars. We laugh, we kick it, we leave. See what I mean? Is this ever going to stop? Is he related to this kid? I don't know. It's confusing to me. I don't know. I know. So I'm glad Cardi B got up with Keith Lee because she was copying his uh, style of reviewing food just like two or three weeks ago. And, you know, she invited him on her platform to do a review together of, of a food that he's recommended before. Now that's good because it, it pushes his brand more and you know, she she's doing everything. <laughs> like 
she's doing everything to get her buzz back up. It's working. It'll work. But she is doing everything, you know. So she's her team is making sure she takes part in everything that is moving right now. And that'll work for her in the end. It makes her more relatable. It'll work. Little Yachty teases song sampling swing, swing My Way. This is going to have a lot of controversy from Texas. Uh, but, you know, he was inspired by the song. It's not like he's trying to, like, use it to, you know, make himself a hit record. He was just having fun with the record and previewed it. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, you know? It's not like he's recreating the whole song and making it his own. I hate it when people do that take a hit record that worked already and remake it so it's like their record now you know i don't like that i like sampling but what he's doing is just having fun now boosie reacts to kanye kanye reacted to him stating that kanye has no he doesn't get played in the hood and he didn't have anything to do with my genre of music we don't relate to him because kanye said he inspired every kind of music that happened in the past 20 years Kanye said, I just saw that Wipe Me Down was made in 2007. I take no responsibility for that genre would be called. Well, Boosie says that genre of music is called Boosie music. It makes you cry. It makes you smile. It makes you dance. It gives you motivation. It makes you think, I really raise people through my music. It's really heartfelt music. No rapper has raised me. No streets. But the streets more than me. I make music that makes you feel like you grew up in the same house together. Wipe Me Down, it's not a genre of music it's a song from 07 it's almost a decade was it i was almost a decade in i've been putting out this real heartfelt stuff since 98 99. they don't give real guys their flowers no more <laughs> anyway it doesn't matter hey at least kanye responded and acknowledged it this is jordan's out with jt news i'll check you guys in the next one please smash that like button i'll check you in the next one peace